Right, that's uh, both the wheel arches back in. Uh, I just need to screw them in, which is our task I shall do at some point. But yeah, looks okay. Uh, I'm just recycling those from the, the old build because it's really good quality wood. And for the sake of that they're a little bit uh, used, uh, I'm certainly not gonna replace them. picked up these little magnetic uh, buckets from the Home Depot, b and not bad, four pounds, so you can pretty much put them anywhere you like, so I'm sure they come in handy, you only had a couple left, so, so, so I thought for four pounds, that's definitely worth it, so yeah, starting to get some little bits all coming together. Well, here we have it. Uh, an update on the Scorver beam and Metov uh, suspension rails update. I have now put the, the foundation, the base in for the bed. Uh, I went with 18, uh, 18 millimeter hardwood uh, structural ply. Nice and sturdy, doesn't bow, tested it, and it fits and works beautifully. It is a little bit heavier. 12 mil just wasn't gonna cut it for me. I wanted something that was sturdy, uh, so I went for that option in the UK, generally speaking. Uh, for us people who aren't commercial, um, you get 12 and 18 mil from our hardware stalls. What I've done to secure this is I've notched them in at the back against the pillar so they slide back slightly more. And you can see it's a really nice fit all the way down the middle and down the sides as well, no massive gaps, which I was pleased about. Also a testimony to my panelling on, on either side, doo -doo, that they are both parallel up to that point. It does start to, um, I did find when I put the board in, I did have to adjust it slightly because I always seem to do my measurements too keen, uh, as in I have to work on it afterwards to get it to fit rather than cutting too much off but I'd rather do that than not um, to get a nice fit so yeah very pleased with it so I'm really pleased that uh, um, I can go to sleep that way and I can go to sleep that way there to there at this level of the van because everybody knows Mercedes Sprinter van curves so if you're laid on the floor you have loads of space I don't know maybe you might get away with five a person at 510 but by the time you get to this height, because the van bows, um, I'm 5'7 and I fit in between there, which is perfect. Uh, but also I've done it extra length that way. So if we're having a movie night, we can lay that way, or we can lay that way. Uh, the intent is, I, uh, which is coming later, and I've tested it all, but that's for another video. This might be a giveaway what I'm doing the people in the know, ha ha ha. Um, that was a demonstration, so I was getting it uh, lined up to where I had to put the item. Yes, but that will be for another edit video. Okay, right, there you have it, guys. A uh, bit of an update for the bed. Uh, that's the best bed base installed. Um, I may or may not drill ventilation holes in it. I'm not too sure which way I'm gonna roll with it. The intent was to, but let's wait and see and I may paint the underneath of the board white. So when I have the garage lights on underneath, it reflects um, something reflective paint. Uh, so it uh, makes it all nice and light and airy underneath in the garage space. 
and also obviously I do have to paint that to protect it um, but I just need to do some reviews on on uh, the best uh, product to put on the top anyone got any suggestions of how best to cover that uh, ply uh, I'm all ears okay there you go well I know I said I wasn't gonna cover it up but hey don't listen to me <laughs> um, yeah so had the tools out and all the rest of it so and the diamond treader was available so I cut that piece to fit in there so not bad it doesn't quite butt up I need to trim it off slightly there so I can take up that gap a bit better then I shall secure it on bought some um, outdoor varnish which I'm going to use to uh, paint over the bed balls just to give it some protection as it's ply so uh, seems to be the stuff to get I'll uh, put this little section on a, on a time lapse and let's see how it goes Well, two, three hours later, I've done both boards. Both had uh, two coats of paint, or varnish, I should say. It does dry. When it dries, it does. you don't even know it's actually got varnish on it, which is a bit ironic, I suppose. But I didn't want to gloss. And that will be fine. Just give it a bit of protection. Uh, I did debate using uh, Danish oil or something like that but I just went for something that had a bit of um, impact resistance as well the idea is to have the uh, the varnish nicely soaked into the corners which is what I've done uh, to stop the plywood splintering right another job done Two hours later and both the bed bases have been varnished. Uh, they have been using Sadline uh, and it's just a, a, a clear mat that I've put on top of the ply to give it some protection. I did consider drilling holes in for vents but I'm leaving that for now and I'm just going to see how it transpires and should I need to put some in at a later point then I shall so it was good to uh, try and do little jobs every day I had to get them under my belt to uh, crack on and get this completed I made a little mod for the uh, metal suspension uh, rails um, are these clips that I've slid into I had some scrap aluminium so I measured it all up and made these little uh, channels here so so it acts as a stopper from Ikea when you buy the metal rails uh, you do get plastic stoppers on the end but they just keep popping off they're uh, not really uh, fit for what I need to use it for I'm sure it's fine if you're having wall cabinets uh, but for a van build uh, no not really so yep yeah, that's pretty good and as you can see when I pull on it it's not going anywhere so pleased with that I've got one either side that one keeps adjusting in itself a little bit looser than the other one so I may put some uh, sealant in there uh, just to keep it in situ and keep it nice and tight and what I can do as well is just make some bigger versions of those 
uh, bigger versions on those to go there so it slides that way so it keeps the uh, beam exactly where I want it to be so rather pleased with that uh, looks uh, it's nice and tidy as well I haven't seen uh, anyone else on a uh, YouTube uh, do a little trick like that but that doesn't mean people haven't done it so I'm certainly no rocket scientist and it's not a massive stretch of the imagination to uh, come up with something like that but there you go it's nice to get it filmed uh, this will conclude the video for this week I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed it I've enjoyed making them it's been a massive learning curve uh, doing uh, YouTube videos and I hope you're all having a good time and cracking on with your fan builds